So in this talk, I'm going to briefly describe the second derivative test. And the goal of the test is to figure out if a given critical point for a function is a point of local maximum. And here's how the test goes. So suppose f is the function, c is a point in the interior of the domain, so f is defined on the left and right. And suppose f prime of c is zero, so that's one type of critical point. And suppose f double prime of c exists, so the second derivative of the function at the point exists. Then we can use the sine of f double prime c to determine whether f has a local max or min. Well, not always, but we can try. Okay, so the first case. So in all cases, f prime c is zero. Let's say f double prime c is less than zero. What do we get in that case? It's so a maximum. Like basic local maximum. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll make a sort of quick representative picture. I want to do the proof explanation in this video because I want to do that. Build a slightly more general version and do that later, but in another video. Uh, but let me just make a quick picture to explain what type of situation this is. So, the, the typical situation this describes is your function is concave down and it has a maximum here. So it's this concave down tells you the second derivative is negative and it's it's turning down. Now you can have more complicated example situations. Okay. Because notice we are not actually saying f double prime x is we're not claiming anything about f double prime x on the left or right of c. Okay, we are just claiming about f double prime at the point. Okay, so it doesn't actually have to be twice differentiable anywhere else. It just says it has to be twice differentiable at C. Does it have to be differentiable on the left and right of C? Does it have to be once differentiable on the left or right of C? Yes. Yes, because that's the only way you can take the second derivative at C. Right? To take the second derivative at C, you need the first derivative to be defined around C. So this is the typical situation for uh, for f double prime C less than zero. That's why it gets strict local max. What is the typical situation for f double prime c greater than zero? Concave up like that, and you expect to get a what? Local minimum. So remember, this is the, happens only when f prime c equals zero. So you cannot just directly compute the second derivative and say whether maximum. The first derivative has to equal zero. Only then you get these conclusions. What about the third case? Inconclusive. So you cannot say whether it's a max or main or neither. It could be anything. Okay. And we'll see this in uh, in uh, another video. I guess we'll see examples of all types of situations. And so, so notice a couple of things. The first is that you never can definitively conclude from the second derivative test whether whether you have that you don't have a maximum. So, if you don't have a maximum, you cannot use the second derivative test to conclude that for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, another thing you you note is that uh, is that this requires the function to be differentiable at the point and twice differentiable at the point. So the function has the other type of critical point where the derivative doesn't exist, you cannot use the second derivative mm -hmm. test. Also, even if the derivative exists, if the second derivative doesn't exist, that's again inconclusive. So I guess I could add another line which says if f double prime c doesn't exist, that's also inconclusive. But uh, basically, it can only give positive results on maximum. It cannot rule out the possibility of local extreme values and it relies on the second derivative existing. Okay. 